This video is going to be how to make a hard-boiled egg and what better way to do it than somebody who has never made hard-boiled eggs in their life. Well, I have, but I don't remember how. So what I'm going to do, I've got 10 eggs here that I really need to uh, hard-boil because they are at expiration date. So the plan is I've got the 10 eggs in the pan. I am going to cover the eggs with lukewarm water and uh, bring it to a boil and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Since I'm a single guy, I don't have anything but this wide pan. I don't have tall pans or pots or I don't have any of that stuff. I, I just, because I don't. So if you want to leave a donation to my channel, I'll go out and buy some. Um, I'm going to pop this thing on here now. I'm going to pop it on a medium heat. And I'm going to bring the water to a boil. I would what you really want to do, oh, the dog's here. No, you can't be in here. This is hot water and dangerous. What you really want to do is have the eggs covered. And if I cover, if I put any more water in here, this is going to be extremely dangerous to, it's going to be dangerous as it is to pick up and get over to the sink uh, when I have to cool things down and drain the water. So I can't put any more water in. You can see over here, the egg is not completely covered. Um, and so that might ruin my eggs. Probably not. So you want to use lukewarm water. That's what I've got here, lukewarm water. You know, lukewarm water, hot water from the sink. Use whatever water you want. They're just eggs. If they come out bad, then throw the stuff in the garbage can and go out to the store and buy something uh, to eat. So we are going to keep this on a medium heat. It's got a medium flame. You can see the flame down at the bottom. It's always neat to look at a flame. Normally, I wouldn't be able to do a video like this because, as I said, a uh, single guy and this place has always been just an absolute mess. Couldn't even see the stove a couple weeks ago, but uh, my place is going to be getting uh, termite fumigated soon. I'm going to ramble. I talk a lot. So if you don't want to watch this video, then just hit stop now. But all my videos are talking. Um, so it's going to be termite fumigated soon and they're going to need access to the place. And I didn't want anybody, I don't want a stranger coming in here. My place was an absolute mess. You couldn't even go from one end of the room to the other because there was junk all over the floor. So I threw out almost half the stuff that I owned and I decided, hey, it's time I get my life together and put things away, organize things, sort things out. So I did that. I'm missing a key. I can't find a really important key because I did the cleaning up, which is just typical of you do something good and oops, so, uh, but the stove is clean, all the pots and pans, I threw out most of them, they were scratched up, and I thought, what do you need them for? Well, you need them for a video like this on how to cook eggs, obviously. So, uh, but I threw all that stuff away. If I need them, if I need something, I'll go out and buy it. Lots of utensils, threw, threw a lot of that stuff away, wooden spoons, and just junk that we all save in life, and you look at it later, and you go, what the heck do I have this stuff for? So, uh... But I can see the floor, I can see my nine guitars, I can see everything except, uh, I can even see Russia, yeah. Sarah told me I could see that. So, I can uh, make a video like this because, check this out, I mean, this is just incredible. Not only is there nothing on the stove, but it's really clean, I cleaned it. Because I'm not using it much. Why am I not using it much? I rescued a dog. Check out my videos, I rescued a dog almost nine months ago. And I don't cook as much as I used to. I don't do a lot of stuff as much as I used to. Uh, until I get this whole thing figured out, I am just uh, made my life simpler, cleaning things up so the dog has a place to stay, has places to sleep. Used to have stuff. I See, I've got to talk during a video because you're going to watch the, the whole thing from the... Let me turn the heat up a little bit. It's, a, it's supposed to be a medium heat, but if I do medium heat with this water, I'll be here for two years. So... Uh, I had a whole bunch of stuff on my massage chair. Didn't get a chance to use it. That's what most of us do. You buy a weight bench, you use it for uh, storing clothes. You buy a massage chair, you put junk on it. Um, you buy an elliptical machine, you use it to hang your clothes on. So I had stuff all over the massage chair. And while I was cleaning, I, like, I looked at it and I went, what in the world am I doing here? This looks terrible. So I got out the vacuum and took, out, took off the couple inches of dust on it and washed all the clothes that were on there. Some of them I kept, some I threw away. And uh, 
the dog sleeps on the massage chair now. And I got to tell you, when I see her jump on that chair, I smile. I'm as happy as could be. I love it. Now that I got the bedroom cleaned up a little bit, she sleeps under the bed. She crawls under the bed and hides sometimes. I love it. She sleeps all in different corners and different sections of the carpet. Things are cleaned up. Not 100%, but almost there. So the uh, fumigation thing, it's like all stuff in life. Sometimes it can be a nightmare, but you got to make the good out of the bad, and that's what I did. Um, emptied out most of the freezer, found some stuff in there that was, wow, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought I had everything under control, but I had some stuff in there that was three years old. Woo! Had uh, some stuff in the cabinets. I'm always checking the dates on the cabinets, but I had stuff in there that was five years, six years old. So all that stuff went in the garbage. It's nothing unusual. We all do that. Everybody does that. Maybe it's a rare person that puts dates on everything and looks at them. So uh, I got the place cleaned up, and it looks good. So you want to take the water, lukewarm water. Yeah, this is going to take forever. Just absolutely going to take forever. Uh, there's a section, there's a timing thing in here where it's going to have to stay covered and cool, and I'm not going to keep the video on there going for that time because, hey, this, uh, this video, will be, video will be going forever. All right, water is getting closer to boiling. Let me zoom in. I'm always fascinated by stuff like this. What's really neat, I'm not going to do it, but what's really neat is when you have something like this and you zoom in on a flame and then you go slow motion so you can see what it really looks like. I just, I love slow motion. Slow motion is fascinating when you do video. Maybe I'll do that. The problem when you go slow motion, something like this that is 10 seconds of, of video, you do it in slow motion and your video just goes for minutes and minutes. But I'm zoomed in on the flame. Check out that flame. Beautiful. And if you are doing this on an electric stove or range, then you won't be able to see this flame. So you're going to have to go to the store, buy a new range, new stove, Throw the old one out and put a new one in so that you can see the same flame. And that, unless you have a, a flame like this, you cannot boil eggs. You can only make hard boiled eggs on a gas stove. Gas flame. Boy, this is taking forever. I'm going to crank this up. I'm probably going to ruin it because if you, if you heat it too much, you could run into big problems. I, I really want to kind of move this thing around a little bit so that the rest of the egg can get heated, but I'm worried that I'm going to break it as I do it, and it might end up back in the same position. Ooh, it's bubbling around. Okay, so I'm moving it around a little. I don't know that that's going to make any difference because it just zips back over to the same side, and I'm probably going to cause a disaster here, an egg disaster of all things. So the water is starting to heat up. I don't know how hot it is. What is boiling? Isn't boiling like 212 degrees or something? Let's crank this thing on. 76 degrees in the room. You can't see the thermometer. What good is a thermometer if you can't see it in the video? Let me try to get this up a little higher. Woo, I'm gonna burn my hands burn my hands for a video. The hair on my arms, it's starting to burn off now. Alright, uh, I'd have to call the paramedics soon. Do not do this at home. Do not what, do what I'm doing on this video. It's only a hundred, ow, that's hot. I've got, I got some really neat gloves that I did a review on. Let me put these things on. These gloves are incredible. I just did a review on these and I'm going to put them on the wrong hand because I want to get this thing going. So let's see, where are we at now? Nope, get away from here. Hot water, go out of the room. The dog, the dog is next to me all the time. She follows me all around. She's always looking at my eyes. She watches everything that I do. She's a good dog. She's a real good dog. Good rescue dog. She was abused. We don't know how badly, but uh, the groomer, when I first brought her to the groomer, the groomer said this dog's been abused. The shelter agrees with me she was abused. 
The trainer at the shelter said she was abused. I saw the video of her at the kill shelter. Yeah, she was, uh, she didn't look too good. Why is this only at 162 degrees? This is going to take forever. I'm going to shut off the video. I'll be back in a minute. Totally ridiculous. Well, there's a lot of water in here, and I, like I said, I don't have the right pan for this. Uh, we're only at 185 degrees. This thing's been going forever. If I had a smaller pan or smaller pot, then I'd probably be able to do this uh, a little quicker. Let me zoom in on that. Maybe I'll slow, slow this down with slow motion so you can check that out. That would be kind of interesting, seeing the bubbling and the, the heat, the smoke rising. Um, so it gave me a chance to wash all the dishes. I had four dishes in the sink. And that was another thing. I used to have dishes in the sink all the time. Nope, not anymore. Well, I do, but I, I wash them during the day. Or I wash them at the end of the night. So, I used to have a dish rack that blocked the left side of the sink. Now I've got it on the counter until I buy a little uh, water drip pan. So I have a towel underneath. So the sink is clean. The, rank, the stove is clean. Uh, most of the counters are there. Not yet. We've got to clean up the counters a little more. Bathroom counter, you got to clean that up. Still have a bunch of junk on the bed. Got to clean that up. Stuff on the bathroom, bedroom floor. But overall, this place looks like a totally different, uh, different place. So, somebody came over last week. They walked in and said, wow, what is this, a dog store? Nine beds. I think she's got eight beds, nine beds, something like that. And a ton of toys all over the floor. All right. Um, we're almost at the boiling point. Not good. I'm running out of batteries here. I should have charged this thing up. Did a couple videos yesterday. Three videos. Um, might have to go to AC Power because we need to watch this thing. That's important. I have another... I have backup batteries that are still in a box, not charged. Told you, I'm busy. Alright, so you got to wait until this thing boils. Where are we at with the temperature here? Taking a long time. Don't want to burn my arms. 154, 180. Before I was at 185. 193, 195, 197, 198. Two, ow, oh, my fingers. 200, 201. So we've got to get another 12 degrees on here and then we'll be okay. Maybe I'll zoom in on that too. Eh, not yet. So, to learn how to boil eggs, this video is probably going to be 30 minutes. Wow. And now I'm running out of battery power. Maybe I can get an extension cord and plug in some auxiliary power. Auxiliary power. I didn't say that right. Um, let me shut this off. There we go. Do I have power on here? I just, uh, I've got some AC power. Good, we're good now. That looks like it's boiling. It's kind of a slow boil, but you want to boil for two minutes. So we're at 6.16 p.m. Um, how did I get my power? Let me show you this, because this is really kind of neat. I just did a video on this, and I want to show it to you. I needed to get a couple feet of extra extension for the cord and I plugged in my power cord to this thing I just did a review on this it's really awesome seriously check this out it's uh, it's a mini power strip and I think I did a video review a couple days ago on this thing I could plug the uh, camera straight into the USB thing but I'm going strictly AC so this is a real neat portable power strip and the gloves that I just used, I also did a review on these a while ago. Yinin, very nice gloves. They will stop your hands from getting burned. Oven barbecue. So uh, let's get back to the water. There we go. It's kind of a boil. I guess it's a boil. If you, <coughs> That's the whole thing. If it's boiling too much, do you ruin the eggs? This thing's been going forever. I probably started this video 20 minutes ago. It's just going to be how to make eggs and how to boil eggs in a few minutes and it's going to be how to boil and eggs boil eggs in a year so 
Um, it takes a long time to boil. Some people they boil the e the boil the water, then they throw the eggs in. Other people they uh, they put the eggs in, then they boil the water. Some people let it sit for a while. Some people let it uh, some people let it boil on the on the fire and then cover it up. Other people shut off the fire and cover it. There's so many different ways. So this is just the way I'm going to be doing it. 16, 17, 18. Okay, I think we're at about two minutes of boiling. Let me zoom in so I can, I want to slow this down for slow motion. We'll make this video really long. Okay, I'm going to give this one more minute. 16, 17, it's really gone past like two minutes. I got to get the dog away from here. What I'm going to do now, what you want to do is you want to boil the water for and then you want to shut off the heat. I'm going to shut off the heat, and then you need to have a tight cover. Tight is always the best. The tighter the better. Tight cover. This is glass. It shouldn't shatter, but cover it up. We are at 19, 619. You want to keep this for 11 minutes. You want to keep it covered for 11 minutes. You want to take it off the heat. So if you have a gas stove, then I know the metal is going to be warm, but if you have a, if you get gas, then... Uh, you can just leave it there. If you have electric, then you really want to get it off of the coils because the coils are going to stay hot for a long, long time. So we are now at 619. I'm going to come back at 630 after this has been in there for 11 minutes. And that's the dangerous part, especially because of this pan. I've got to pick up this really heavy, awkward pan and get it over to the sink. And I'm going to use cold water and I'm going to drain everything which is not the best thing. You really don't want to use cold water on a on a boiling hot pan. Not good for the metal, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the sink. I'm going to cool it down, run some water over there, drain it for a few times, and then I'm going to uh, finish the video and show you what, you what you have to do next. If you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, or like. If there's something you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. If you want to leave a donation to my channel to help me out with all this stuff, Ask for my PayPal info, and I will be back. Back to the video. 11 minutes. It's really been 12, but yeah, who cares? 12 minutes, 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 9 minutes, boiling, who knows? Um, maybe I'm going to overcook them. I don't know. Can you overcook an egg, a hard-boiled egg? It's hard-boiled. What would happen? Would it be called the hard, hard-boiled egg? So the thing's steaming away. What I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to put this in the sink. Let me get the camera positioned over there. Okay, this is the dangerous part. I really should have shoes on because if this water hits my feet, I'm going to be in trouble. Dog is not in the room. Going really slowly. Oh boy, is this heavy. This is really heavy. I'm going to pour this away. I don't even know if it's... I, should, uh, I don't know if this is showing up on the camera. And I shouldn't even be looking. I'm going to go turn the thing so I can see. This is really dangerous, but I want my video to be awesome. So if I burn myself... Oh, when it's getting hot. Now I can't lift this. All right, so you want to get the hot water out of there. Ooh, I can't see now. All right, the dog. No, don't come in here. Don't come in. The dog's like my supervisor. She watches everything. I call her an inspector. So what you want to do now. No, stay there. You can't come in here. Dangerous. Danger, danger. She's looking at me like, what are you talking about? So you want to. No. You want to get cold water on there and you want to drain this thing a few times. Well, I'm not picking up a boiling hot pan. I already did that. So I'm just going to wait for this thing to cool down a little bit. And good girl. Good girl. Very good. I'll take off the glove now. Because when you have something that's boiling hot, you want to take off a glove and burn your hand to see if it's cooled down. The water's still kind of warm. Nope. Go back. Go back. The problem is that she's a really good rescue dog. She's a wonderful dog. I absolutely adore her. Um, I spent a fortune on this dog. Anything I want to get her or that she needs, I, I do. Just love her. Hi, little lady. How's my girl? Oh, now she's walking. No, no, you can't come in here yet. Yeah, I guess she, she can't come in here. Um, so I don't know what happened with the people who owned her before, but I've been training her. Where I got her from, they said she just 
She didn't listen. She didn't want to listen. And they were amazed that she was as well trained as she is now. So I spent a lot of time with her and I train her all the time. But a lot of times when I say no, she just thinks I'm going to do what I want to do. And she looks up at me, looks me in the eye and says, don't tell me not to do something. A very stubborn girl, really good girl, really, real good dog. So the eggs are a little warm. So what you want to do now is you want to get some water, cold water. And I really should put this on the burner, but I'm not going to. Um, you want to get some cold water. And then you want to get some ice. Let me go grab some ice. You hear the ice maker in the background. If you ever have ice, if you have ice maker problems, uh, go check my video out. That ice maker wasn't working. I got it working. I have a, a video. I got a video on everything. So now it's making ice. And you want to put this thing in here. What time is it? All right, 636. I told you this video has been going for how many hours? And the one thing I know, with YouTube videos, the average view is about three and a half minutes. So no one is going to watch this video. No one's going to watch it all the way to the end. If you watched it to the end and you hear this part, thank you. People scan through videos and they scroll through really fast. But most people have just a really short attention span. They don't watch anything nowadays. And would you want to watch a 45-minute video on how to make eggs? Probably not. So we got it at 636, 37. What you want to do now, so what we did is we, you take the water, you want to use uh, lukewarm water, or warm, warm water, I don't know who Luke is, so lukewarm water or, or John water. You want to take some water and you want to put it in the pan, and then you want to bring the water to a boil. I know I could have said this in one minute at the beginning. You bring the water to a boil, and then after it's boiling, you keep it boiling for about two minutes. If you, if you don't want to do two minutes, do two minutes and three seconds or two minutes and eight seconds. And then uh, you shut off the boil, you put a cover over there, a tight lid on the top, and you let it stand for 11 minutes. If you don't like 11 minutes, do 11, 11 or 11, 10 seconds, whatever you want to do. 11 minutes, 12 minutes. And uh, they're only eggs. And then you take the cover off and carefully get over to the sink, drain the water, put water on there to drain it and cool it down a little bit. That's what this is doing. And then you fill it up with water and you put some ice in there and let it sit for three minutes. So we're 36, 37, 38. So we have about another minute. And then, uh, and then you take it out and you look at it. You have to look at the egg for 13 seconds. If you don't watch it for 13 seconds, this will not work. When you get to the 13 seconds, then you can attempt to peel it. So why am I doing this? I bought five dozen eggs at the big box store. Why? I don't know. I don't eat that many eggs, and I don't like, I don't use yolks, not too healthy. So uh, I bought five dozen eggs, and I think I'm at the, close to the expiration date, very close or maybe over. So I just wanted to boil 10 eggs, and I bought a big king size. Hey, I told you I'm a single guy. bought one of those big king size cans of tuna, and normally I just buy a small can of tuna and then I eat the, I just take the tuna, put it on a plate and I eat it. If I have some relish, I put relish on there. But I thought, all right, let me make some real tuna. So I've got the big can, king size, the big humongous can of tuna. And I bought 10 eggs and I got some relish. Uh, went over to, bought some relish from my mom and I've got some leftover. So I'm going to put some relish in there and eggs and I don't use mayo because it's all fattening and it's not healthy for you, but I got her some mayo. She wanted some, so I've got some leftovers. So I'm going to throw in the mayo and the, the relish and the eggs and the tuna. What am I going to do? This can is humongous. I can't. There's enough food for a lot of people. Um, all right. Oh, I've been talking too much. Nah, that would never happen. Okay, so the water, the water's really cold. That's what you want to do is you want to get some ice water. Ah, boy. Even the dog walked out of the room. She said, I just can't handle any more of this video. Woo, that's cold. That's really cold. 
Okay, so the whole point of the video now is to see if it was, was to see how to make a hard boiled egg and if it works. And not only that, let's get this turned down a little bit. Got to dry the water off my hands so I don't ruin the video camera. Um, all right, so let's go down over there. So we've got the egg and it feels a little warm still. Every time I have seen people make hard boiled eggs, the eggs, the shell sticks to the egg, or yeah, you know, they pound it around, and they've got all these all these things. You got to put vinegar in there. You got to put salt in there. You got to do this, that. Now, this is how I did it. It's either going to be a disaster, or it's going to be awesome. Hit. Where's the dog? I can't believe she's not coming in here saying, "Is there food for me?" So I don't know if this is going to be cooked. I don't know if the shell is going to stick. It feels like the shell is going to stick. Um. I've got some other videos on, some awesome cooking videos on how to make chocolate chip cookies on the stove. That was a real nightmare. i just got some cool videos, some really neat stuff. I'm impressed with my videos. Oh, wow, look at this. This is actually peeling. I can't believe it. I guess I can believe it. I am amazing. I'm absolutely amazing. This is incredible. Check that out, people. I have never... People have asked me to peel eggs for them before, and they always stick. This is a beautiful thing. Look at this. Get the shell off of here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to make my tuna. And let's face it, a man who's got tuna is a happy man. All right, no no laughing over there. Um, wow, look how old this is. I just don't, uh, somebody gave this to me. Look how cheap and rinky-dink this whole thing is. I, I've never even used it. It's an egg, uh... An egg slicer, dice or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the video. Let's see how this works. Let's see what it looks like inside. Dog's all excited. She wants to go for her, her walker like seven times a day. She doesn't need it, but she acts like she needs it, and then I take her, and then she doesn't do anything. Okay. Wow, this is a real bad egg cutter. But it's working. Let's look inside. Eh, it's working. It's kind of messing the egg up here. So let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like inside. The yolk look... The, yeah, I'm impressed with myself. Not only did the shell not stick, but it's nicely cooked. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. Let me taste it. The yolk was warm. Oh my god, is that good. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, people. That is how... You make hard-boiled eggs for tuna. Maybe, just maybe, I will continue the video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get all these eggs and I'm going to add on to the video, or maybe I'll make another video how to make tuna salad. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to take the dog out right now at 6.45, take her out before the sun sets, and then I'll take her out again later. So I will be back in a little bit. I know everybody's waiting because this is video, and I will show you how to make tuna salad bachelor way. Hey people, this video is going to be on how to make tuna salad if you were a single guy and you don't know what in the world you're doing. So I just made a video on how to boil hard boiled eggs. How to make hard boiled eggs. I guess you don't boil boiling. So how to make hard boiled eggs and the video probably went for uh, 45 minutes. I don't know. So uh, you want to clean off this can because there's lots of germs that you get in the store and the best way to clean it off is just to rub your germs on the top of it and then you will be okay. So I'm going to open up this can. This can is huge. This is three pounds. This is massive. I don't know. I don't... If you watched my video on uh, how to do the eggs, <coughs> I talked about how they're going to be uh, fumigating this place for termites. So I threw out everything I had. I didn't throw out everything, but a lot of it. I really don't have... Uh, <coughs> sorry about the coughing. I just went, took the dog for a walk, and it's really dry in here. So, uh, I don't know if I've got a container that will hold three pounds of tuna plus eggs. I boiled ten eggs. Um, let me get the eggs out of the sink right now, and then we will continue with the video. So, everything's going along pretty good. Um, let's get these eggs out of the way. Oh, boy. Oh! All right. Yeah, I'm a professional chef, not, 
I'm going to get this pan out of the way right now. But you just uh, maybe watch these boil eggs in. We'll get that out of the way. And now, the reason I'm going to do this tuna first is because I don't know if I have a big enough container for three pounds. And if I don't, then I'm going to have to uh, do this, split it up somehow. Wow. So you want to... Uh, can you see that in the video? I don't know if you can see it. Oh my god. I'm just not ready for this. It's overwhelming. Hoo, 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 hoo. So you want to take the can of tuna. I bought this in al uh, albacore. Al white albacore tuna. I guess albacore is white. And I did it in, uh, I bought it in water, not oil. Oil is just, I don't know if it's oil. Oil is worse for you or healthier or I don't know, but it's just nasty. So, you want to drain all the... You're draining the water with water. Okay, the dog's in here. I talked about her, my rescue dog, in the uh, video that I did on the eggs. So, if you're interested in that, she's all interested. Okay, you can't see it now. She's going to sit right behind me and watch me do this. She's just hoping I'm going to drop some tuna on the ground. Um... I don't know. I don't know if this is going to fit in here. Will this fit in here? Oh, boy. Don't cut yourself with the, with the... Ow! Whoa, that was close. Don't cut yourself with the top of the can. You don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to try to get all the tuna out of there. I should use a utensil, but... I don't know that I have to shut off the camera and I have to dry my hands. So get all the tuna out of there. Get as much tuna out of there as you can. But don't cut your fingers on the edge of the can. So that looks pretty good. So what I've got now, I'm going to go reposition the camera so that you can watch me make my first tuna salad. And that makes me an expert. And we'll see what happens. So let's go reposition the camera and yeah that's that's enough room all right so this was the egg that I just oh no that I just uh, made and I'm gonna go peel the other eggs I am very impressed if you didn't see my video first time boiling an egg not boiling an egg, first time making hard boiled eggs, and they're just peeling so nicely. Alright, let me move this out of the way so you can watch me peel eggs. Um, like I said in my other video, the average view on a YouTube video is about three and a half minutes. My average video is about half an hour, so I'm sure nobody's watching this, but that's okay. So that is a beautiful egg. Bang this on the sink. They are really nice. They're peeling absolutely perfectly. And like I said in the egg video, I have always been the person who peels the eggs for other people, for the people that make them. And they always, it, the egg just falls apart. It never, the shell never comes off easily or perfectly and it is with it with this so this is pretty neat I'm happy um, remember you never want to oh boy what, what in the world was I thinking you never want to put eggshells in a disposal ever uh, I got a strainer on the sink so it's okay you never want to put eggshells down a disposal a uh, good way to second of ruin the blades, but it's not good. That, it's not good for them. And I know I live in Los Angeles. I in California I shouldn't really be running this water because we were having a drought and we weren't having a drought. And when the, the dogs right behind me, when the let me turn this thing. When the drought ended, when the drought ended, I said. The state is not going to be smart. Because what do people do when a drought ends? 
They say, go out and waste water and water your lawns. Well, they, they let people water their lawn anyway. You know, if you are starving for food, you don't throw food down the drain. And if you're having a drought, you don't tell people that they can water their lawn one day a week. It's ridiculous. But that's what they do. That's just how politicians think. They don't want to anger everybody, so go, go waste only some water, not all the water. Okay, this one's kind of sticking a little bit. This is sticking a lot. Um, let's see what it, if it tears the egg apart. So, uh, we had the drought, and then the drought ended. We told people, go back and water your lawns and wash your cars and do what you need to do. We have a lot of water, and we do have a, we have a, a nice supply of water, and we have a nice storage. But, that's the thing about droughts. You tell people, you don't have to tell people they shouldn't waste water, but you shouldn't say, you don't have to find people, but you should say, don't waste water. Don't water your lawn every day. Don't water your lawn every week. Water it once a week, we'd be happy. We're not going to punish you if you don't, but the minute you come out and say, yeah, we got a lot of water, go out and waste it. We're not going to be upset. And then you have a, a bad rain season. Oops. So I've got a, everything is a, is a video, everything is a video here. Um, doing a video on how to boil eggs, how to make tuna salad. I got my camera plugged into a power strip, made a video review of that. Oops, what the heck am I doing? Um, I uh, used heat resistant gloves to move the pan of water, made a video review about that. In the back of this video, I've got a, ow, that egg shell hurt. I have a uh, oral irrigator for when you need to orally irrigate, and it's really good. It's very nice. Use it every night. And I did a video review on that. What else am I looking around that I can do, uh, that I did reviews on? I've got the uh, dog shampoo next to me. I did a review on that. What else is in my view? Got my watch over there. I did a review on the watch and did another review on how to put on a watch band. Okay, so I'm going to rinse off the eggs now, get off all the eggshells, and then we are almost at the point of making our review. I mean, what am I saying, review? Everything is a review. We're almost at the point where we are going to do the eggs. I'm going to cut up the eggs. And I, I don't know if I have too much or too little. Uh, probably too much, but that's okay. Oh, boy. So, you could do this with a knife, but it would be a nightmare. It would be a knife mirror. And I've got this, I don't even know where, somebody gave this to me. I bought this for a dollar. It's so cheap, but it's working. I, as I said, I don't use eggs that much, but... For some reason, I was at the big, uh, the big C, and I bought five dozen eggs, and I thought, what the heck am I doing? And I think I'm close to expiration date on that. I could look at the envelope, at the package, but... Eh. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your three pounds of tuna. I don't even know if I need ten eggs. It's going to be very eggy. Three pound can of tuna. We're going to do 10 eggs. The dog is just sitting there waiting for food. Poor girl. Sorry. She gave her some uh, egg earlier in the week. I might give her some tuna. She can handle tuna, I think. You just have to be careful because tuna's got a lot of mercury. And you got to be careful with eggs because it's got cholesterol. And you really want your dog to be, and you, your own body, you want, you want to eat healthy as best as you can. And believe me, I feed her really healthy food, expensive food. I spent $185 at the dog store for her food and a couple toys. So cut up your eggs, 
three pounds of uh, tuna. Chop up your eggs, however you want to do that. And, ooh. Then after that, this is only for, this video is for bachelors only. Uh, women already know how to cook, so women do not need to know how to make a tuna salad. They already know how to make tuna. But a man always needs tuna. So we've got the 10 eggs in there. Um, what do I want to do? Let me clean this thing off. Like I said, nobody's watching. They've already shut this off after the first three minutes. And when you're making food, you really want to have a big container. It's one thing all of us should have learned, but we haven't learned. When you're making food, you want a big container so you can mix it up and turn it around. This is not big enough. This is, this is a disaster. Um, I'm going to take this and hand it over to the dog. There you go. She's got a little bit of egg. She'll be happy. So what do you put in tuna? You put in uh, relish. Again, I was at that big store and we bought a ton of bought the mixture of relish and ketchup and mustard. And I normally eat just tuna out of the can, but when you throw relish in there, boy, does it make a difference. So I don't know if that's enough or too much or too little. And what else would you put in there? Okay, no more. Go out. Put in relish and you put in mayo. Now, I don't like to use mayo because mayo is really more eggs and it's fat. And it's just not good for you. Loaded with calories and it's not good for you. But, oh boy, three pounds of tuna. I can't eat three pounds of plain tuna. I get sick. So I don't know, that's probably way too much, but let's put in another three heaping teaspoons of mayo. And I'm just going to mix it up. I don't know what else would go in there. Tuna and mayo and eggs. And now you can see what I'm talking about. If I had a big enough bowl, I'd be able to make all of this and mix it the right way. But I can't really do that because I don't have a big enough bowl over here. Um... It would be nice to have a, a big cover. I could just turn this thing upside down and mix it, mix it, and shake it up. But it's starting. It looks, it looks a lot better. When my mom makes tuna, I don't know what she does. I've never asked her, but she, it's kind of like, she must mash it or something because there, when with tuna to me, that's tuna, and her tuna is like a real, real tuna salad. It's all mashed down, and I don't like it as much as I like to see the tuna. But, again, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to mix this thing up. Yeah, I guess i got to really break up this tuna because three pounds of canned tuna, it's all stuck together. And I'm going to shut off the video now. I'll be back in a few minutes. Like I was saying, my mom kind of gets it mashed, kind of like what you see in, the, uh, in a bakery, they, or not a bakery, in a deli. They, I just don't know what they do. I have no idea. But you don't see the pieces of tuna like this. They, maybe they just break it down because it looks like a spread, almost like a spread. This looks a little dry. I would love to have some pickle juice. And that's really why you're using relish to give it some moisture. But I don't have any pickle juice. And I'm going to add a little more. This looks really good. I don't know if it's going to taste good. But it looks just amazing. I'm gonna add a little more. Yeah, let me put a little more in there because that really gives it the taste at least to me it gives it a real nice taste you've got the, uh, the sweetness of the relish and it also gives it some moisture but this container is so huge and I don't have enough room to really mix it up the way I'd like to I know sometimes people put in mustard I believe they put in mustard into a tuna or maybe they just do that on the sandwich uh, a little bit more mayo. Do I have a spoon? So, hey, make sure you watch all my videos. My videos are awesome, kind of like this one. And uh, you can learn a lot from them. This one, you, everyone's learning. Every single guy is learning how to make tuna. This is way too much. This is just not a healthy meal. Five spoons of mayo and ten eggs. All of that for three pounds of tuna. So, the tuna, 
It does have kind of mercury in it, but at least it's healthy or healthier. And then you throw in 10 eggs and the relish is okay. Might have a little bit of sweetness, some sugar in there. But you throw in the 10 eggs and the mayo, and now you're looking at a uh, probably not the best thing in the world for your heart or your arteries. And I'm having a hard time mixing up the bottom. So I've got enough of the stuff that if I need to, I can make more. But what I want to do, I don't have any bread here. I left the bread somewhere else. Um, what I want to do is I want to give it a taste and let you know what I think of this. Let you know if I have three pounds or four pounds of, with the eggs, four pounds of stuff that's nasty or what I think of it. So it's kind of mixed up. Um, let me take a taste. Um, a little dry, a lot dry. You know, it's not too bad. But I don't taste the egg because there's so much tuna in here. And I definitely do not taste the relish. Whoa. What do I have? Half a bottle of relish in this thing now? Yikes. So let's mix this up a little bit more. My neighbors are walking past my window. They're going to think that I'm doing a cooking show. Um, yeah, way too much tuna. I don't know if I'll do this again. The can of tuna, it's so cheap when you buy this at the store. When you buy it at a store, it's not cheap. Buy it. No, don't come in here. You buy this at one of those big box stores. And this massive amount of tuna, I think I bought this can for $9 or something, which is nothing. All right, I'm not going to be able to really mix the bottom. I just want to get in here and taste it again, and then I'll finish off the video. So remember to do the thumbs up, to subscribe, to like. If you have something you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do it. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. Got a little bit of relish over here, not too much egg, but I wouldn't want to put any more egg in here. And so we've got the, uh, the relish and the egg, and the tuna, and the mayo. Mmm... Oh my god, that's delicious. Mmm. That is very good. Wow, is that good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Even more egg would be better, but you got to be careful. That's massive amounts of cholesterol in there. And the mayo, I wouldn't put any more mayo in. So this is my video on how to make uh, tuna salad. If you're a bachelor, something like this. Three pounds of tuna. 10 eggs, mayo, relish. You could probably uh, eat this for dinner. Yeah, there might be enough for dinner. Maybe not, it's hard to say, but that's about four pounds. That's an average meal for a single guy. All right, thanks for watching my video. Remember, thumbs up and subscribe.